Hi everyone, Green Cherry here. Welcome to The Devil in Me. So this is the fourth and actually final episode of the first season of the Dark Pictures Anthology. The first one was Men of Medan, then we had Little Hope, the third one was House of Ashes, and now we have The Devil in Me. I'm going in completely blind. I only know as much as we saw in the preview from the last game, the um, House of Ashes, where I think I already said that it just feels like a bit of a Saw-like um, game, so like the Saw horror movies. But again, I have no idea what, what to expect except what I saw in, the, in these like few seconds. And I'm super interested and I'm super excited. And yeah, I am very much looking forward to it and I hope that we will all have lots of fun, as much fun as we can have with a horror game, but that we will all enjoy it. So we're gonna jump right in. And we're gonna play alone since um, I have no friends. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, we're gonna go for a new story. We go with um, challenging again. I remember from the House of Ashes that the the button prompts felt a little bit more fast-paced than in um, Little Hope. So I'm wondering if they're gonna crank up the difficulty here on average as well. At least this is what it f felt like for me in House of Ashes. For they have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. Yeah, every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. And others lead to death. The so wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> Genuine snake oil what? Treatment? Content? Genuine. That's the most important thing. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Very mundane. Definitely. It's just Let's very empty. <laughs> so they're gonna have their honeymoon here, I guess? Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Just ring the bell. Try again? Oh. Well, he can't help you, or she. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Okay, so we can make um, decisions here. Um, let's go to the fair later today. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. Does it? That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My uh, sincere oh, apologies. Okay. Sneaky. For both startling That's you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. 
please, sign in here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. <sighs> yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Sherlock Holmes. Howard Holmes. Henry Howard you Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you H -H -H. very much. I designed and built <gasps> most of it myself. No, You're an wait. Architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor. Con artist. Artist. Con artist. I'm a man of many interests. No. Impressive. No, this is amazing. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. This is so cool! Thank you, Mr. Holmes. I'll tell you in a second we why if you don't know. It. The pleasure is all mine. I mean, on the other hand, I don't want to spoil anything for you in case you don't know, but this is so exciting. Okay. Now, what did I forget to bring? So H.H. H. Holmes is a real person. Um, this person existed. I can't remember... Yeah, it's in the late 1800s. The uh, Chicago Fair was, I think, one of the first ones of its kind. And um, it happened in 1893 or something. And he is a bad person. <laughs> I can't say that much. And he um, bought this place, this hotel, which is also a pharmacy and blah, blah, blah. Um, and he rented it out for people that visited for or he said he's going to rent it out for people at the fair coming to visit. And in the end, he never did. He never did. And if you want to know, because I don't want to tell you anything here in case you don't know anything, because I also don't know where this is going to lead in the, the game. Um, I just recently watched um, something else about him and that was, um, it's here on YouTube. Um, I love like the true crime things and I have two two channels that I really follow with the true crimes and they're both like makeup and and true crime stuff and one is Bailey Sarian you probably have heard of her um she's she's doing a, a, a series that's called murder mystery and makeup Monday and quite recently she has done an episode on H.H. H. Holmes so if you're interested go and check that out um I can also see if I can link that video in the description but um this is Super exciting. I love it. <laughs> it's it's I don't know if it's creepy that I'm so excited, but it's really really cool I have not, I did not expect that to be like a real world um, Like thing in 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 that game. It's like a with a real person Okay, let's uh, grab that um, oh, What is that that's face powder and then the other thing is I have no idea some liquid I don't know the um, the D-pad was new. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Oh, pardon me, miss. 
Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm already super hooked. Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Have, oh yeah, Ferris wheels. Oof, dangerous things. Excitement? Perhaps. Ugh. Oh, maybe back in the day they were. Okay, that's a dead person. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? Oh god, no. <laughs> These are the most intense ones. was a thrill. You won't mm -hmm. think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. I would have left the door open because when he saw it and it was open, he could still think, oh, he had left it open. But now that it's closed, he was like, I didn't close that door. But he already suspected something anyway, I bet. Welcome, newlyweds, Beautiful. to the honeymoon suite. Very pretty. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Could it be more creepy if he tried? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. <laughs> hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. <laughs> so the mechanics are very very similar to um the previous games. Mercy, the mercy. previous two games. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Good. Victory <laughs> is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Ah. Uh. 
Yeah, I just want to say that looks weird. Oh god. It's the bathroom, it's not in the, um... In the room, I assume? Jam shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it. <sighs> oh, okay, that's the key. Open kitchen. sesame. <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave oh, no. while I take okay. a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Oh god. I have a bad feeling. Settle into the hotel and find a shaving kit. I'll try to do that. Was there anything behind us? Could have gone that way too. But that's a dead end, I think. But I want to have a look at the picture. Um, it's a forest, I guess. Alright. What's the time? It is... Hold on, Jeff. It is quarter to nine? It looks. In the morning. Because we're still bright when we arrived. looks like a scene from Little Hope, but maybe I'm also just interpreting it now too much into the pictures I see, because I really want to look for hints and easter eggs for the other games. Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. open. Better not. What? Why? So he likes ships. I guess. Our HH on homes. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. <laughs> nice. Oh, I I really want to tell you. Because it makes this whole thing just so much better if you know. <sighs> what? what? Whoa! <laughs> Ah, okay. If the D-pad is on screen, characters can equip items they have in their inventory. Oh! Well, this is, I think, the, the face powder would be picked up, right? Don't know why we would do that. Right now. Maybe the other one was like, like bathing foam or something. Oh. Do you see the thing on the left? Do you see the guy with the, the head, the top head? That's the curator. Who shows up probably from mm. time to time in the background. Is that you, darling? Oh, Jeff? Are we playing another game? Uh...
She thinks it's him. She's pretty Back sure. Already? You know, this tub is awfully big. I think there might be room for another body. Oh. Hmm, that's nice. Oh god, he's already wearing like an I apron. Don't, you don't know your own strength. Easy, dear. Jeff, that hurts. Hello, my dear. Oh, I know. You don't want to disturb the other guests. Let go of me! Let go of me! I really thought you'd have a little more fight in you. There we are. Nice and quiet. Oh, Jeff. It was just a little bit too late. What are you doing? You've touched Maria. You're a bit late with that sentiment, good sir. Is there a problem, sir? Plenty. so sadistic, like he's just standing there and watching it. Simply die. It's so I say, opulent. Uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, we now we have, we now know that H. H. Holmes he he murders people. Okay, but the fascinating thing about him is, and we saw a little bit of it in the last scene with Jeff, is that um, so he bought that place back in the day. I think he even like built more of it, so he like added stuff. But what was what the most fascinating and also cruel and oh, mind blowing thing is was the interior. He had he had basically normal rooms like here as well, but he had all of these hidden rooms that were like soundproof that that you couldn't see from from anywhere in the house because they were hidden behind hidden walls and um, or hidden doors. And it is so creepy and that's where he basically lured people in and then he did have these these rooms where he then um, release the gas that would just suffocate people and he had in the middle of the place he had like a it was really elaborate um, he had a, a shaft or something that led right into the basement and then the, he just 
discarded of the dead bodies um, via that, that chart, via that drain pipe. Fucking creepy. Absolutely creepy. Um, but super interesting. Um, and he said it, he is an architect and he built this all by himself. He did all of that by himself. Um, the planning and everything. And it's just absolutely fascinating. Go and watch that video. Um, or just Google HH Holmes um, on YouTube um, and look for a documentary or something. It is absolutely fascinating and I'm so thrilled that, yeah, that, that this is the, at least in the beginning, that this is the story. It's awesome. Old friend. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. That's not I true. wonder if you were even trying. That's not true. A couple of people that survived. Plenty, in fact. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create, and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. Mm -hmm. We know about this mechanic and already. Sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. Okay, so does that I'll make be it collectible? To exchange any that you find, ah. and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Oh, I see. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. I wonder if these things are like the tarot cards that we found in the quarry. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on the good events. Uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. Okay, so they're all applying for something. I've been a key group in lighting tech for years. See a problem? <gasps> oh. Light it. That's the same actress as in Men of Madan. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, I how think... do you start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. Uh, I've been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was. Hoping it would. I just find a four key. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. 
Mm, here we go. Enough. <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? It was fine, I guess. To be honest, Charlie, <laughs> this is a pile of How's flowers. A pile of flowers. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Mm. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Okay. Let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? Oh, they really like I each mean, other. That's great. This is that ring light that makes it all glowy. We leave oh, behind it. You're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah! I don't know. A bit more information would be nice, I guess. Be great, guys. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, What's Charlie. What's his name? What do we Actor. know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet yeah, has blueprints, call. documents, artifacts. That's when so I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. It should be a red flag. All of this. Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. 
before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. No. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that may share information that can we know affect my this? business or lifestyle. <laughs> there are rules. All Another red flag. No. Must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. Pretty so he's sure. offering basically them the opportunity to get into Telling this like house. This that's a, that's a recreation. He said that in Topeka. But they also don't get paid to do it. But they also don't have to pay anything. So that's dodgy. Yep. That's dodgy. Yeah, because the actual murder castle, as they called it, after they found out, Didn't he have I think they or they tore it down after the, the trials. Because I mean, you can't <laughs> like just imagine you have a place like oh, that where things really? like this happen and I you just it. leave it there. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Yeah, and additionally to um, um, like murdering a bunch of people. He also was, as I said in the beginning, he was a con artist. Okay. He... So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. I think you basically yeah. married a bunch well, of women, we'll get a better look. one after the other, to That's get basically their life certainly. insurance. Um, so up there. there was always a discussion the about the frame up over the, um, the motive behind the murders. Charlie, Some say it was financial gain, but other, others say it was basically it was just pure evil and he had Mark, fun murdering this is crazy. people. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. Okay, I quickly want to... Collections and characters. Let's have a quick look about... Um, what we have here. So we have Aaron, Jamie, Kate, and Mark. Um, I have to get familiar or become familiar with the names. So this is Charlie. Um, he has these character traits, but they can change. Here we have these pictures, and in um, Little Hope we found postcards, in House of Ashes we found stone plates, where we then get these visions um, of possible futures. Then we have a bunch of secrets that we can find throughout the um, game. And as you can see, some of them connect, some of them stand separately. And then we have the bearings. And when we look at this one, we have here um, that Jeff ran from Holmes, leaving Marie, where we do didn't have a chance, I think, to, to change, uh, to choose. And um, yeah, the other one is Jeff was killed in the gas room. And Marie was drowned in the bathtub. Marie didn't have anything heavy enough to hit Holmes with. And she chose not to investigate the noise. Oh, if we would have chosen to grab the bottle, maybe that would have like made it possible for us to grab that bottle and smash it over Holmes's head. But as much as I've learned from these games so far is that the, the intro sequence basically um, is something that we can influence, but we can't change the outcome. Jeff gave Mary, uh, Marie the necklace he purchased from the jewelry counter. Yeah, and we purchased the tin of powder, which was probably the wrong decision. All right, so that's that's that. And now we have this. So Charlie received a call from Grantham Dumais and accepted an invitation to his H.H. H. Holmes inspired murder castle. Yeah, if that's not a red flag, I don't know what is. Um, so currently um, Charlie is fine with basically everyone. He's not so good with Kate. Um, I still need to figure out again who Kate is. Um, and then we see down there, oh, we can even click on that. Ah, so that's Kate. 
I have no idea that we can click on it. That's Aaron. That's Jamie. And then obviously that's Mark. And you see the little coin thingy with the skull on it? And it has a zero next to it. I think these might be these um, coins, basically, that the curator was talking about. And I wonder, we will probably find a couple of them. And then once, once in a while, we go back to the curator and he will talk to us. And maybe we can exchange these coins for a bit of a foreshadowing or something, um, or a hint, as he calls it. Um, okay, I will try to... Um, I will try to uh, have these episodes in the length hour, and I think this is a very good point to pause. Um, I'm super excited. I love the theme. This is awesome. This is actually awesome. I'm so happy about it. Um, I feel a bit creepy being that excited about it, but it's just, it's so cool. I like it. Um, and it's not even that I'm a specific like H.H. H. Holmes, um, or that my interest is, is very big in that. I just recently learned much more about that case and now boom we have it here it's awesome um, I hope you enjoyed this episode too if you did then consider leaving a like it really helps me especially um, for the first episode of this a yeah, let's long. play I'm sorry I'm sorry Charlie I know I'm taking too long but I need to say goodbye to my viewers um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one bye bye